So later today, my brother is coming to visit, and normally when he visits, we set up a computer, which I have plenty of spares, and we play several games. But it got me thinking. There has to be an easier way than having him logging onto his Steam account and then loading up his games by installing them fresh onto that computer for us to transfer games and play games at each other's places. And I have a gaming laptop, so it's not such a big deal for me, but for him, it would be easier if he could just put his games on a mobile storage device and take them with him. So it got me thinking, how well do flash drives game? Okay, so in the intro, I already spelled out one of the reasons you may want to use a flash drive, sort of like this little guy here, for gaming. And that is if you're going over to somebody else's place or you're going to like a computer lab at college, like a gaming lab, uh, Ball State University, which is where I went, had one of those. Um, maybe you want to bring your own games um, from your Steam account and you can put them all on these little guys. Yes, you would still have to reinstall them on the computer that you're using, but it detects uh, games that are already present there. So the installation, instead of downloading the entire game, it would just say, see that, oh, the game is already there. It would set up everything for you and you'd be good to go in a matter of minutes instead of a matter of potentially up to hours, depending on how big the game is. So that, that is one use case for this. The other use case that I can really think and wrap my mind around is a laptop like this one. Now, this is a fairly old gaming laptop and it has a somewhat limited SSD in it. And I replaced the one terabyte hard drive in it when I got it with an SSD because I wanted the day-to-day -day usability improvements that come with the uh, SSD upgrade. The problem being, of course, that it has less capacity. So up until now, what I've done is essentially, if I know I'm not gonna play a game for a while, I just get rid of it off of the local machine. And then a lot of times I'll store those files on the NAS so it's easy to reinstall those games but I've sort of been going without having several of my games. If you could, again, install games onto a flash drive and have them be very playable off the flash drive, that would solve a lot of the usability problems, uh, especially in this particular form factor where you could leave it plugged in most of the time and not even really notice that it's hanging off the side of the laptop. So there are several use cases for wanting to game off of a small device like a flash drive. Okay, so now I want to sort of set up my methodology for you a little bit. Again, I'm using this little SanDisk USB 3.0 flash drive. It's an UltraFit 32 gigabytes, although they come up to 128 gigabytes, which there's a link in the video description down below. I believe they're around $30 for that 128 gigabyte variant. So these are not by any means expensive flash drives like you see in some other variants. Now, first I ran the Diskmark 64 benchmark on this flash drive my internal solid state drive, which is just a SanDisk uh, SSD plus, it's nothing fancy, but it is a 480 gigabyte uh, SSD, as well as my Western Digital 7200 RPM one terabyte hard drive. And I'll sort of show those uh, results on screen now. And you'll notice the SSD obviously blows everything else out of the water, but the hard drive and the flash drive are actually somewhat interesting results. The flash drive does outperform the hard drive in non-sequential read speeds, which is really what we may be most interested in with gaming. But in the sequential read side of things, the hard drive does win out very handily there. The write speeds, although I did throw them up on the graph, I'm not that interested in them because for loading games, we don't really need the write speeds to be that great. However, I will note that installing games may take a little bit longer on the flash drive because its write speeds are so much slower. Now on the game testing side of things, I use Skyrim, uh, most notably because it is a still somewhat small game compared to uh, some of the larger uh, modern AAA games. And at 32 gigabytes, I don't exactly have room on this flash drive to load up GTA and test that. The other thing is that Skyrim, especially at launch and even to this day, has quite a few load screens. If you ever fast travel, there's a load screen. If you go into a new area, a new room, a new building, anything like that, there's some sort of little load time involved in that. So I wanted to test the Skyrim load times and these results should generalize fairly well to other more modern games as well, like your Fallouts, your uh, GTA 5s, those types of games. So there are three tests with this. First, there is the initial load up, which I just happened to be on a random mountaintop. Um, and I test the time that it takes to load that save game from a fresh start. Then I fast travel to Solitude where you will also have another load screen and a 
completely brand new area to load. And finally, I go across the map with another fast travel to Faldar's Tooth. Now the reason I did these three different load screens basically is I just wanted three completely different areas on the map, three new areas, um, and it should, like I said, generalize to the rest of the game with relation to the load speeds. Okay then, I guess there's only a few more things to mention here uh, after looking at those load times. First off, the flash drive performed extremely well, better than I thought it would. I assumed it would be a little bit behind the hard drive, uh, but I was completely wrong after actually running the test. The flash drive actually outperformed the hard drive in every single load time, and especially the initial load time, in a substantial uh, fashion. The SSD obviously won out in all the tests, but I was actually even surprised to see how close, at least in this game, that flash drive was to the SSD's performance. It's just really an overall surprising thing to me. So if you are traveling and you know you're going to have access to a machine with a USB 3.0 interface, then some of these flash drives actually may not be a bad idea to just put all your games on those, or at least the ones you're going to play, and then travel with those because it gives you another option for taking your games with you. So I would say I'm extremely happy with the way the results came out. I did not know if this was actually going to be something that would affect the game. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is in game and actually playing the game, I had the frame rate locked at 60 FPS for all three. I didn't experience any stutters with all three as I went throughout the game world. So there's really no performance issues that I saw whatsoever with the flash drive. Other than that, it's actually outperforming the hard drive. So in certain use case scenarios, it may be a good idea to use a flash drive for at least storing or taking your games on the go. Okay, so that's it. If you like this content, give me a like down below, share, subscribe, all those things. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. The tag is the same, helps you out, and it helps you get in contact with me easier. Now, as always, let's let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.